How's it going, my German people? Dr. Slack and the Slack and Doctor back with week nine, ten, I think, ten, I think, of the uh, GDL final week, basically, of the regular season of the GDL. If you didn't check out last week, I would recommend checking that out because I'm about to spoil the result. All right, fair warning. Uh, I'm going to close Discord now that we seem to be connected. After after last week's dub, uh, I'm pretty sure we are now completely locked for playoffs, which means that um, this game is really just an exhibition game. Um, I don't know whether my opponent can make playoffs or not. I, th I think not. I think all the teams are now locked in. Um, but just in case, I have brought an actual team. Um, so they do bring the Keldeo. Really interesting. Um, Scissor. Okay, potential Sticky Web will, uh, will screw me. Um, <laughs> it's just how life goes. Um, I didn't bring any defog. I've completely blanked on all beetle having sticky web. Well, uh, if he wants to be like a sticky web lead to try and slow me down, uh, I am going to get hazards up early. So there's nothing really that Rosebush can't lead against. So this is just standard rain, banded, um, Barrascuda, Life Orb, Kingdra. I actually have a water absorb defensive, uh, Polyrath just to double up on the Keldeo with... Uh, Pelipper, in case rocks go up, it will help out. Um, and of course, I do also have dry skin on the Heliolix, so he's likely to be clicking the fighting moves all the time anyway. But, um, you know, you don't want to be dealing with Specs, Hydro Pumps, Kingdra if you can avoid it, do you? Uh, it's pretty scary, and, and you don't always want to go into your um, go into your Heliolix. So, yeah, other than this, looking at my matchup against him, I mean, Barrascuda can win this game if I play it well. Uh, I want to get Hazards up early. The kind of philosophy for this game, Ferrothorn is supposed to try and check Scissor as well, but luckily, like, Scissor isn't a huge threat against a rain team. Bullet Punch is resisted by the majority of my team. Um, it is a good pivot against some things, but I can potentially wear it down with Iron Barbs. Um, so, Fizz Death, Ferrothorn can help out with that. Like I say, this isn't the be-all and end-all for me, really. Um, this is just supposed to be a fun game. I'm treating this like a ladder game, but I have, I have not memed it just in case. Um, it's significant for other people's playoffs chances, right? I don't want to be uh, a dick. I don't. I don't think. I don't think. Oh, I didn't even say our opponent's name. OG Albina. I've been saying it wrong all season. I think that's how you actually say it. But I've said it wrong so much now. I've confused myself. OG Albina. I think so. Um, I have. Uh, I'm not really super deaf on this, but I don't see a better switch if this is Fire Blast. Um, I don't think he can make playoffs. So that's why I'm not like. I built this team two minutes before the game. I'm pretty chilled. Pretty chilled about the whole thing, but uh, just in case, you know, I didn't, I didn't completely meme. Uh, and we dodge, we dodge. Great start from our King Bradley. So we're just gonna get the circle throw off early. I don't know what his immediate switch into this is gonna be. I didn't write down his team. Uh, I think it's gonna be the Alchemy. Um, so we get some nice chip off on the Alchemy and pivot it out basically. This is actually this thing. This is nice. Get some chip off on this. This is his main water resist on the team. Um, so we'll just, you know, probably get 15, 20% off. Yeah. We're, we're weak. We're weak. We're a defensive Polyrath. Um, but we, we're doing something, right? Um, uh, this could be dual wing beat. I do fear dual wing beat. I'm, I'm scared he's going to U-turn, which is great because I want to get the Iron Bar's chip off. But I'm scared he's going to U-turn out into the... Um, into the uh, Drampa, or that he's going to Swords Dance Superpower. But in either scenario, um, did I spell Rosebush right? Yeah, it looked weird for a second. Yeah, I thought he might have the Dual Wing Beat, and uh, we're going to get all that Iron Barbs. Um, we're going to get all that Iron Barbs. Yeah, I figured this would be the the, the thing to do. Um, nice. Um, now, he may still have the Superpower. He may still have the Superpower. So he won't U-turn here. U-turn in here would be foolish, as he reveals the leftovers as well. So I could go, if he's superpower, um, he could be knockoff. He could be knockoff. Uh, I could go into Pelipper predicting the superpower. Um, other than that, what would he go into? The Dramper again? I actually... Uh, is Rocks or Spikes be better? I would say Rocks. It hits the uh, it hits the main kind of water resist in uh, Rotom Mo. I know he does. Oh, he does go for the U-turn. Interesting. Um, that's some lovely Iron Barbs off on him there as well. That's nice. That's nice. We are we are being well, worn down ourselves, but this is an offensive matchup. 
I didn't expect the Ferrothorn to be around for a long time. I just wanted it to be able to get some hazard pressure going. So, uh, he hasn't yet seen the item on my Pullywrath, so he probably thinks Salt Vest, I would guess. Um, I'm not, so there's that. Uh, outcome this thing. I'm going to get my rocks up. So this should never be a water move, right? This should always be a fighting move. Um, we do get our rocks up, which is really nice. He could flip turn. I don't hate it if he flip turns, because if he flip turns, he probably flip turns into the Rotom Mo. And Rotom Mo isn't really too much of a threat to me. Um, if he's like Swords Dance Stone Edge, that would be pretty heat. Um, but then the Polyrath really will wall him, so he'll be a bit... I am Fizz Death Polyrath, aren't I? Yeah. Um... So I think I'm just going to go down to Nigel. I don't think this is going to be the, the water move. And uh, this is EV to take two Specs Focus Blasts. So it goes for the Aura Sphere. Um, this shouldn't do too much. And by too much, I mean fucking nothing. Uh, no Hidden Power Electric in this game. Love to see it. I'm just going to U-turn out. This is what this is what Pelipper does. Um, if he flip turns here, then that's really, really good information that he is uh, non-scarf. Okay, great. I did consider going into the Ferrothorn just for that. But we can... We can use that information later. Um, we probably are in range of two Aura Spheres now, so... Uh, might need to play around it a little bit differently. I think Polyrath will be able to take uh, non-Specs Aura Spheres, though. So we can also use Polyrath as a switch in later. So we can we can, we can can make some plays around this. I'm not too worried about this, Keldeo. Um See, I imagine he probably wants to go into something expecting either a Roost or U-Turn. I don't think he wants to go into Rotom Mo because he'll have to take U-turn plus rocks, which isn't great for him. I really don't know what he will want to go into. He does go into Rotom Mo, perhaps just thinking, you know, if I'm going to take a Hurricane. This thing would want to take a Hurricane, really, though. Uh, perhaps just predicting the Roost, uh, which I think is a fair line. I just, I want to stay offensive. I want to stay on the front foot. Now, here's our main question, boys. Does Barascuda kill defensive Rotom Mo with a banded liquidation in rain at this point? Defensive Rotom Mo. Let's pump that into the calc real quick. Um, in rain. Level 50. No. No. No, no. Um, so... We'll go back into Ferrothorn. We'll play a little bit more patiently for now. We'll play a little bit more patiently. We'll get our leftovers back on Ferrothorn, which is always nice. Always nice. He does get the free Volt Switch off here, or if he's Defog, he can get a Defog off, or if he's Pain Split, he can get Pain Split off. I am walled by him. So this does give him a bunch of options, but um, I'm just going to hazard up and get my leftovers because why not, right? Why not? Um, it could be Pain Split. It could be Pain Split. If I had Poison Jab... Um, we could have just nuked it with a poison jab, but I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. Is he reveals to be rest? I'm super okay with this. I am super okay with this. Is he chesto then? Interesting. Rest is a good bring. Rest is a good bring. Um, yeah, it, it is chesto. But again, that circle throw is going to become really fucking problematic with all these spikes up for him. Um, that was kind of when I built this team, I was like, let's just bring defensive Polyrath Circle Throw with Hazard Stack. Let's see what happens. Um, no regrets on that one. So, um, thinking he may want to switch out here. I'm actually just going to fire off a Thunder Wave. Um, if he wants to go into like Dramper or, or potentially Orbital as Defoggers, I really don't know. Yeah, he does want to Volt Switch out. Um, I don't mind getting a T-Waver off on any of the above. Hmm, what do we think? What do we think, Dramper? I think maybe we could see the Dramper switch here. How am I going to handle the Dramper switch? I could use the Polyrath again. Um... I don't think it's worth me staying in. Like, I'm, I'm half wondering about spiking up again. But I don't think that's worth. Uh, do we, are we going to see an item on this at all? Are we going to see leftovers proc here for him? No, no item. Okay. Um, 
Do you, ah, he's probably got like the Thunderbolt or whatever, hasn't he? Ah, I don't really want to make this play, but I think it's just my best play. Um, I kind of want this thing healthy because I think it's so obnoxious for his team. But I, I don't want to sack anything else just yet, so... Uh, and breaking through this thing's actually a bit of a bitch. Well, that helps. <laughs> We're just hacking this Dramba down. Um, I did see after his last game he tweeted about hacks in Pokemon uh, and reacted with a clover emoji to the to the score in the chat. So I'm sorry. <laughs> he may have been getting some RNG recently, or we may just be adding to that. Um, you already know what I'm clicking here. He goes out into Scissor. Beautiful, beautiful. Please do, please do, please do. And as his red card. This is hard for him to handle. We just chuck him out again. Get something else in on all the hazards. Ah, the Alchemy. Okay. Um, of course, this is his... Uh, this is his G-Max. I don't actually know... Uh, I'm just going to attack because... I have the Encore for if he's like an, uh, an Iron Defense or Calm Mind set, I can Encore him. Um, and I think this Liquidation in the Rain is probably going to do a lot. I could... I don't... I don't... Okay, so he outspeeds me. That's good knowledge. That's good knowledge. Goes straight for the Dazzling Gleam. Uh, and I can just Liquidation here. Hopefully this does quite a lot. Does quite a lot. Alright, Polyrath. Alright, Polyrath. Uh, do we think we'll see a Dynamax here? Is it worth me protecting? I don't think so. Uh, I don't think so. I'm just going to go into Ferrothorn. Just going to go into Ferrothorn. Maybe I should have let Polyrath go down, but... Eh, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think it's still useful. As he goes for the Recover. Now, he doesn't know I don't have Gyro Ball. This thing does get Mystical Fire, it's worth noting. So, um... Expecting to see a Mystical Fire here. I'm going to make the pivot into Barrascuda. We're making some plays, boys. We're making some plays. Alchemy. I haven't been calcing too much because I just kind of want to play, but um, Barrascuda outside of rain. Looks like it's a roll to kill him here with our banded liquidation, even if he's like really fizz death. Um, my liquidation from Polyrath in the rain. Hmm. Did more than that, so I don't think he's very fizz death. I don't think he's very fizz death, so I think this kills uh, even outside of range. So I'm just going to go for the banded uh, liquidation. I could flip turn. Uh, yeah, because he probably just dynamaxes, actually. He probably just dynamaxes. I forgot this is a league with dynamax. Um, yeah, because he either dynamaxes or... He, he could fear the poison jab and therefore switch out. Um, but I think he either dynamaxes or he switches. So, yeah, with that in mind, we're just going to switch. Um, so what are we going to go into? This is undoubtedly going to be a, uh, a, a, a replenish. He's going to get all his health back. Fuck, breaking this thing is going to be annoying. Barrascoot is going to be the way that we break this thing eventually. Um, wow, that is so much. That is so much. Um... Yeah, I'm going to go back to you. I'm gonna go back to you on what I would very. I think like I don't think he can go for the fire move, predicting the flip turn. I think that's too much. Um, yeah, the finale. That's the one I'm looking for. So I think this gives him some health back, which is pretty obnoxious. Um, so his Alchemy outsped my Polyrath, which means he does have quite a bit of speed in his Alchemy. Because um, although I'm uninvested, I'm naturally faster. Um, which means that he is also going to outspeed my, um, he's also going to outspeed my Pelipper, but I need my Rain up to do anything here, so, I'm going to go back to Pelipper on the fire move, I'm 
If he fairy moves again, good play, but I don't think so. Yeah. Hello, zero damage. Does that mean that I take a finale from this thing? It looks like I do. Uh, well, maybe not, maybe not. It depends how strong finale is, because I'm just calcing Starfall. Is there a... Oh, there is a... Uh, let's see, if he's like a wall breaker set, but without the life orb uh, at level 50... He shouldn't KO me here. So, um... Oh, he actually got rid of my... Uh, I actually got rid of my rain. Good play. I didn't think about that. I'm just going to roost... I think we stall out his uh, Dynamax here. I don't believe this kills us. If I've thrown this, I'm going to be mad. But this doesn't look like it KOs. Boys. <laughs> We're in some risks. We're running some risks. Ugh. Oh. I wish I'd just gone max for death on my Pelipper now. I put 20 in defense for some stupid reason. I wish I'd just gone max. Um, that would have made that less nerve-wracking. All right, so we managed to successfully stall out the... Uh, stall out that. His Dazzling Gleam is now going to do 34 to 40. Um, so I'm going to roost. We've seen... Uh, yeah, Calm Mind's not a problem. Like, Calm Mind isn't really a threat. Um... The threat is, and I need to keep this healthy. Uh, the threat is like iron defense because my revenge killer is physical, and my revenge killer is gonna obliterate him. So um, I do need to get my rain back up though. So we're going to go into the Ferrothorn here on the fairy move hard. Um, I'm not staying in and taking the chip with Pelipper because I'm gonna have to pivot back to Pelipper at which point he might get chip on me. But we got to get our rain back up. We've got to get our rain back up. We're doing the little dance. We're doing the little dance around G-Max. But what can you do? You've got to dance around G-Max. If he max flares, hell of a play. Yeah, no. That's fine. I think he's playing the right plays. Like, these are, yeah, and that still does a decent chunk. Um, so, like, this is what I'm saying. If he dazzling gleams again, um, fair play to him. But I'm getting my rain up. And he's not going to Oko me anyway. And if he max flares, we can U-turn into Barrascuda, and then we destroy his life. So, Right, Barrascuda in rain. Yeah, we're destroying his life. So, he Mystical Fire's good play. Um, so, the plus one Dazzling Gleam this next turn is going to do 50 to 59 by the looks of things. So, we can U-turn out. Finally, finally get something popping with Barrascuda. Okay. Yeah, so as I say, that's look that looks like Barrascuda range every day of the week. We had to make some plays, but we got there. We had to make some plays, but we got there. Uh, if he wants to go into Rotom Mo, he has to take rocks. He has to... Is it flip turn range? Is that a bit too... Um, is that a bit too greedy? It really isn't. I mean, even on like a max HP set, flip turn in the rain looks like it kills. So, um, I'm going to hit the flip turn here. I don't think I'm calculating anything wrong there. Yeah, as he does withdraw, and that's why we make that play. Um, out comes the scissor. Fine. This is going to take a load of hazards. Um, but we do get the momentum. That's key, the fact that he lived that. That's super nice, the fact that he lived that. Because what that means is that I can get leftovers back on a number of my mons if I want to. So, uh, I don't want to let in the Keldeo especially. So, um, actually, I'm going to go out into Twister while Rain's up. Because I, I, I don't remember exactly what his 6 was right now. But I don't know how he deals with this. So, I'm going to go into Kingdra under Rain. He's going to have to switch uh, something in on like spikes and stuff. And I think that's a, I think that's a bad time for him. 
I wish I'd got Ice Beam on this set now over um, Hurricane. What did I bring Hurricane for? I think it was just a good neutral ground move. But Ice Beam would have been better. I did have Ice Beam on it briefly and then I took it off. So, um... so uh, I could just Draco here. But no, nah, I'm just going to flip turn out. Going to flip turn if he U-turns. Um... I've got some nice, like, Life Orb chip off and this in rain. That's really nice damage. And you already know who we're going out into. And assuming he's going to want to go for, I don't know, like a Discharge or a Volt Switch. It's just those hazards are just making this so much better for me than for him. See, this, this thing's getting worn down. Now he can't switch in on Banded. Uh, well, he couldn't really switch in on Banded Liquidations anyway, but he really, really can't now. So even if he's like max for his death. So we're opening this game up. Um, the best thing I think he can bring in here would be uh, the Keldeo. Yeah. Um, but he's going to take all of this, which is what we wanted to see. Perfect. So... We do want to sack something here, I think. Um, I'm, I'm stuck between sacking Polyrath and Ferrothorn. Um, what do you think, guys? Um... Ferrothorn's wall by a lot that's left. But it is really, really nice for that Rotom. And for switching in on the... Uh... Nah. I think I'm just going to Power Whip. Um, I think I'm going to let this go down. There's a chance he overpredicts. And uh, I, I value the Polyrath, I think, for the... Um, for the, for, the um, for being able to Encore stuff, right? I think that could be really useful, especially... Ugh, maybe not, especially... I was thinking for the Drampa, but I guess with negative priority on our fighting move, which isn't great. Um, anyway, none of that really matters right now. What really matters here is uh, that I get this Volt Switch off, um, which, again, is just a bad time for him. So I don't have Thunder on this this week for the first time. He could be Wakanberry. Um, he could be Wakanberry. But I don't think so so I'm just gonna vault um, I do have the dragon pools on this set I am shed shell for his Doug trio I didn't think Doug trio would come but it, it seems stupid not to be um, I expect the Drampa to probably come out here if he stays in I don't blame him but it's gonna do huge chip on this Probably to the point where he can't come back in on hazards if it doesn't just KO. I don't think it will KO because we're Shed Shell Timid. So I don't see it's KOing, but... Um... Yeah. I think it should be the Drampa. And I that like I want that Drampa gone now because that seems to be my main obstacle to winning, I think. I think the Drampa's the main thing stopping the Banded Liquidation Sweep or the Banded... Yeah. Uh, as he does just stay in, that's fine. How much do we do? We do a good chunk. We do a good chunk now. We obviously cannot um, give him Pelipper, so um, we're going to sack the Polyrath. I know I've, I've sacked two to this Kingdra, but and, and I could have just Thunderbolted there. Maybe Thunderbolt into Dragon Pulse would have killed the Drampa, maybe. Um, but it's okay, it's okay. How many turns of rain left? Because if this is the last turn of rain, I'm actually going to protect so that I can get my... my um, Pelipper in to roost on this thing. Am I, or do I, how many turns of rain? Two turns of rain. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, I'm just going to... Um, can you encore a sub? I don't know. I'm just going to circle through. I always forget whether you can encore a sub or not. So rather than let him get the sub, I don't think he's sub flip turn. But just to be on the safe side, I'm just going to... Uh, I'm just going to do that. Uh... I'm going to Volt Switch again with Heliolisk. So what do we want to Volt Switch into, assuming he sacks this? 
Um, Fire Scooter. Okay, it doesn't sack this. Interesting. Can I even switch in on the hazards? Um, Alright, this thing comes out. I could have T-Bolt it, but the reason I didn't want to T-Bolt is because I didn't want to... I don't know how much I do to Alcra me, so it didn't seem worth it. Um, but this is fine. I get that Volt Switch off here. And... Um, we get Barra Scooter in to click. Um, mm, I'm not playing this very well now. I've eased off the pressure a little bit. Dram. Oh, no, I've played this fine. This is fine then. This is what I wanted to see. Um, I'm going to click the Banded Liquid uh, Close Combat. I'm going to claim my KO. Uh, let's Alchemy um, Recover. But I don't mind Alchemy recovering because that gets me into Pelipper. And um, that gets my rain back up. So perfect. Perfect, perfect. And at that point, I think Banded Liquidation sweeps his team. So, um, going for game, boys. I believe I believe this is the end game. I count, counted my rain turns there. I thought I had... An, uh, well, no, actually, it wouldn't have mattered one more turn of rain. Yeah, it was just me miscounting my rain turns, thinking I would got my positioning all wrong. Yeah, so you can go into this. Um, which gives us our rain back. Obviously, he did a lot to this last time, but that was because he was at plus one, so he can calm mind here, and then he can take the KO on my Pelipper. Um, but I'm just going for game with it now. We're just going for game. Barrascued out speeds everything on his team outside of rain. Um, and uh, what's he got left? He's got the Scissor. No, he's got the Keldeo, Alchemy, Rotomo. Is there something we haven't seen? Am I missing a Mon that's going to beat me in the end game because I've just forgotten about it? Hmm. What's the last Mon? Orbeetle. I might lose to end game Orbeetle. Maybe that's the sweeper here. All right, so he does go for the Calm Mind, so he's going to take my Pelipper from me. I don't think that's going to be enough, though. I don't think that's going to be enough. Um, I'm going to U-turn. Like, I could go Heliolisk or something to save this, but I don't think that's worth it. I think Heliolisk can still be useful. This is going to knock me out, um, but I don't think I need my rain anymore. Um... If I flip turn, does that give him any leeway with anything? I don't think so. So I'm going to flip turn. The reason being, like, liquidation could let the Rotom in, and I'd rather just uh, not let that happen. So we're going to not let that happen. Um, so... I don't want to let the Rotom rest. So I'm going to go into King Drew, which can fire off a Life Orb Draco into the Rotom, which I think will KO it. Um, it could then let Orbeetle set up, and I think that's the only way he wins. The only way I can see him winning is, is somehow uh, a Calm Mind Iron Defense Orbeetle sweep. But he's got to take a Rock and Spikes. So, I mean, I wish I was fucking mixed Kingdra with Liquidation and Draco. That would have been heat. That would have been a good set. I would have liked that. But I'm not. Um, or I wish I was Ice Beam so I could just kill the Rotom instead of Hurricane. But anyway. Um, yeah, out comes this thing. So, Rotom Mo. Let's assume he's like max HP. Uh. Level 50, my Hurricane isn't going to KO him. I have to Draco. Well, let's hope we land it. Otherwise, this could be tough. Um, so he baits the Draco. Does this live the hazards? Good play by him. Good play by him. To try and get the rest off on his... Um, try and get the rest off on his Rotom. 
I don't know if that's going to be enough. I don't know if that's going to be enough. So, minus two. Unless, unless I say he's going for set up with the orbital now. Um... I'm intrigued to see how this plays out. So he goes back into this. I'm very much assuming it's max HP. Um, so I'm going to flip turn it out here. As we create, I wish mean, I had Drake code. I wish I had Drake code. So I'm going to flip turn out on. And I'm going to make the really aggressive play, and I'm going to call this to be a rest. And because I don't want this to be sleep talk or some shenanigans, I'm just going to go into Barascuda. Maybe I didn't need to do that. Maybe I could have just Volt switched with the other thing. Yeah, I could have just Volt switched with Heliolus. This was a potentially a needlessly aggressive play. Ooh, yeah, that was really poor play. Why did I do that? Why didn't I just go Heliolisk? I could have vaulted with Heliolisk. Um... Oh, that might have been a choke. Why did I do that? Of all the things. I don't know why I did that. This thing has to come in, take rocks and spike, unless it's boots. It isn't, so it has to take rocks and spike. I don't know how much rain I've got left. Okay, it's leftovers. Um... Kingdra to what's this thing called? Orbital. I think we can still win. Orbital G uh, Orbital level fifty. This is like a max HP. My hurricane looks like it should still KO him. So unless he's like super speed death, I, even then he's taking a spike, not just rocks. He has got leftovers recovery though. But it looks like my hurricane kills here. So, uh, I think Hurricane into Draco wins this game. Yeah, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Yeah, because I think if I had... No, I think I did make the right play with the Barrow Scooter. Because I think if he had Volt switched on the Heliolisk, and he brought this in, he could have set up on, on the... On the healer list that wouldn't have died to the volt switch from Rotom Mo. So I, I stand by the plays. Like in the moment, it feels bad because you're like, oh no, it, you know. But then you're like, no, there's a reason. Like there's a good reason. So I think we, I think we made the right calls. I think we made the right calls. Um, I was, if rain runs out, like that's my big fear that then I'll get outsped. But I shouldn't get outsped by a defensive Rotom. So um, we should be fine. Um, as he takes rocks chip, and I can just go for the 100% accurate surf to KO. There's no way he lives this in rain. I don't. I refuse to believe it's possible to live this in rain. So, whew, we do we do emerge victorious. This is going to help our seeding uh, for playoffs. Uh, interesting game. Yeah, I definitely. Uh, I felt like I was playing a little bit on uh, on instinct. Uh, not quite as present as I would have liked to have been for some of it. I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm I'm not in a great place today. So, I apologise if. I don't know, commentary is off and stuff. Things have been taking their toll a little bit recently, but that's that's how life goes. So uh, we do we do emerge with a 2-0 win. Um, we do finish the season, I think, 7-3, and three, which is, is amazing for a season we were supposed to be taking more casually. So, uh, yeah, GG to my man Ojo, OG Albina. I find his name so hard to say. Um, and, yeah, unlucky because we definitely did get some hacks in that one too that helped us out. But... We will be back for playoffs next week. I've got no idea who we're facing, but I can't wait. I'm, I hope you guys are looking forward to it. This season's been a lot of fun. Rain's not too bad, right? Rain's not too bad. Thank you so much for loafing around with me, and I'll catch you again next time.